Hello to all of you. This is Dr. Dawal Mehta and today we are going to discuss about higher order models also known as hierarchical component models in Smart PLS. In my previous video, we have discussed about analyzing the higher order models by using the repeated measures indicated approach. Today, we are going to discuss about two-stage approach. In two-stage approach also, we are having two methods. One is embedded, another is a disjoint method. Now, what we are doing? Actually, we are calculating in this case, or rather we are trying, we are analyzing by two stage. In first stage, we will calculate the construct scores. And this construct scores will become in second stage indicators of higher order models. And these are used, and this is a way the analysis is being carried out. So let us see how we can do this. So first of all, let us go in smart PLS. What we will have to do, you will have to run the PLS algorithm. So calculate. PLS algorithm. Start the calculation. Now this latent, the latent variable will be generated here. Now copy to clipboard. Copy this to clipboard and make sure now you go in raw data file and paste it. Now remove case ID from here because it is already there. Remove HOC also from here. So these are all the uh, latent scores of the variables. It means that I've got one score for AC1, which was there no, here. See, AC1, AC2, AC3, AC4, I have got the latent score of all the five constructs. Now save this. Make sure you name it, uh, you give the new name to it because you should not alter the original data file. You, you save it uh, in the new location. Okay, close this. Now again, go in Smart PLS. Now click here and say import the data file. So here I will import it and I'll say open. Click OK. Just a minute, it is taking a time. Okay, let me see. Click on demo, click on indicators, click on blue. Now the file is ready for the analysis. You will get all the scores here, indicator correlations, file, everything is ready. Now again, go in the canvas. And just you will have to see here in the blue, you will get the latent variable or the latent scores of all of them, co-worker, environmental perception, job satisfaction, organizational commitment, and staying intention. Now, what you will have to do, these are all, you can say, latent scores. So instead of this, you will have to replace this with this one. So I'll say co-worker, which is now the latent score of all this. I don't want this one. Okay, so this is replaced. Environmental perception will be now only one latent score. I don't want this. So this one. Uh, if I talk about job satisfaction, then the job satisfaction will be represented by this. I'll remove this one also. And organizational commitment, I'll say, I'll remove this also. Staying intentions, I'll remove this also. Now, if I don't want to include the effect of HOC and I only want only want to work on latent scores, what I'll do, I'll connect this model like this directly. Done, 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 and done. Then also the model will work. But now I want to include the effect of HOC, that is a higher order constructs. Now this gives me the full flexibility. I'll remove this, this one and this one, and I'll say my job satisfaction and organizational commitment collectively make one construct and that is a higher order. So I'll select both of them together and I'll name this as HOC. Click. Okay, now I'll connect this 
and now I'll run the model bootstrapping. Start the calculation. Directly I'll go here. Yeah, I'll have to name this. Okay, uh, naming has been left out. Okay, well, what I'll do is I'll say this is environmental perception. EP. That's the reason it has not displayed. No matter. No need to worry. I'll go again here. Coworker. That is CW. Coworker. Click OK. This is staying intention. Rename. SI. Click OK. Now again run it so that it gives you a proper result. Start this calculation. Okay, I got the result. Is my effect of higher order constructs is there on staying intention? P value is less than 0 0.05. Therefore, we can say that the effect is significant. Let us see in confidence bias corrected interval. The presence of zero means the effect is not there. Here, the zero is not present. Plus to plus. So, uh, there is no presence of zero. Plus to plus. Plus to plus. And therefore, all these path coefficients are significant. I can introduce many effects. I can say, is the effect going from EP to HOC to SI? I can check that way also. I'll go in bootstrapping. I'll start the calculation again. So I can get this, this effect also. Right. Now, what is the disjoint approach? There is only one change which will happen in this. And this embedded approach will get converted into disjoint approach. I'll remove this and I'll say that some of the constructs are still running on the latent variables or rather measured variables. So instead of taking latent scores for EP and co-workers, when some of the constructs are running on the measured variable directly. So here it was uh, AC1, AC2, AC3, AC4. So I'll keep this here. Coworker. So job satisfaction, organizational commitment, and what is left out? Uh, environmental perception. This also I'll keep it on. So now what the thing is that in the model, some constructs are on the measured variable, that is a raw data. And some constructs are on latent scores. So when we are going for such type of approach, it is known as disjoint approach. So again, I can run the analysis, calculate bootstrapping. Just a minute. Let us name this. This is EP. EP. Click OK. This is co-worker. Click OK. Calculate. Bootstrapping. Start the calculation. OK. Now again go in demo. You will get the path coefficients of all of them. You can also introduce the effect like this and again run the analysis, calculate bootstrapping, start the calculation. The only difference between uh, this two that is embedded and disjoint is that it embedded all the uh, constructs will be working on latent scores and in case of disjoint, some of them will be on latent scores and some of them will be on the original measured variable that is the only difference so let us see what result it is giving to us yes we can get the result like this also so thank you all of you you can follow me on linkedin and twitter kindly subscribe to my channel